In this video, we're just going to do a quick example of how to calculate the break-even point in terms of sales dollars, or in terms of euros or yen or whatever currency you happen to choose. So let's say you sell ice cream cones. You've got a big delicious ice cream cone here, and you sell it for $4 each. That's your selling price. And then the variable cost per cone is $1. And then your total fixed costs for your company are $240,000. So we're going to use this formula right here to figure out how many sales dollars we need to get in order to break even. Okay, that would be our sales target to break even. So in the numerator, we're going to have fixed costs, which is just given. That's, that's pretty simple. That's $240,000. But the denominator is a little more tricky. We're going to need to calculate something called the contribution margin ratio. So to get that, we're going to have to find, first find the unit contribution margin, which is 4 minus 1 is 3. That's our unit contribution margin. What that means is every time we sell an ice cream cone, we generate $3 of contribution margin. That's $3 that after covering our variable costs can go toward our fixed cost. That's the unit contribution margin, so it's 3 Okay, and then once we know that unit contribution margin, we divide it by the selling price, which is 4, and that gives us 0.75. And what does that mean? So 0.75 means this. Th this is our contribution margin ratio, by the way, 0.75. It means that for every dollar of sales, every time we make a dollar of sales, 75 cents of that dollar is going to become contribution margin. So now we're going to take that 0.75, we're going to plug it in here because it's our contribution margin ratio. Sometimes people express it in terms of per, uh, percentage, like 75%, but we'll just put 0.75 here to make the math easy. Okay, and so we calculate this out. We take the 240,000 and divide it by 0.75, and that gives us $320,000. Okay, so this is the amount of sales revenue that we need to hit. We need to hit do $320,000 in sales in order to break even. So if we were to do $300,000 in sales, we are going to lose money. We're going to have a loss. But if we can go over $320,000 in sales, we're going to we're going to break even. So or we're going to make a profit, excuse me. If we hit 320,000 exactly, we'll break even. But if we did like 340,000 in sales, we'd make a profit. Now, if you want to know, okay, well Let's so 320,000 in sales. How many ice cream cones is that? We take the 320 and we divide that by the selling price of four dollars, and that's 80,000 ice cream cones. So we've got to sell 80,000 ice cream cones, which would be $320,000 in sales revenue in order to break even. 